All right, guys, and before we finish up the library workflow chapter, I want to go over some really useful functions. There's two final videos. This first one's going to talk about renaming files, how to rename them, and how we do it in our workflow. Uh, the next one's going to be fixing timestamp issues, which if you're shooting with multiple cameras, uh, it's a very common issue when you forget to synchronize those cameras, uh, and it's a very big issue when it gets to post-production. But it's a really easy fix, and we'll show you how to do that in the next video. So let's show you guys how to rename files, and what we do typically is I'll import all of my images and I'll finish them. We'll cull them, organize them into my collections, my keywords. I'll finish processing them and when I have my final set of images that I'm going to deliver, I want to rename those images because I don't want the client to see images skip from 1 to 10 to 15 to 18. Because what's a client going to do? They're going to say, well, hey, what about those images that weren't delivered? I noticed that the numbers kind of skipped around. Can I see all the other images? And you're like, no, those are just duplicates. It gets into a big hassle of having to explain it. So rather than dealing with that, I always rename the final images that are going to be delivered. So I do that by just selecting all my flagged images. And then what I do is I hit Control A to select all my images, go into the library uh, menu right here, and click Rename Photos. You can also hit F2, which is the shortcut. Now, I'm going to go over quickly this file naming settings. Right now, we have a few different default settings that come with Lightroom. And basically, if I select one of these, it's going to give me an option to do a custom name and of X of Y and, and based on a starting number. So what we'll do is we'll type in SR Lounge Final Images. And we'll put tutorial in there, SR Lounge Tutorial. And then you can see how it does X of Y, 1 of 16. So it'll basically be 1 of however many are being exported, or however many are being renamed. This original file number is just going to keep the original file number, which we don't want to do because, I, I want again, I want them to be renumbered so that they don't come asking me all these questions later on. Uh, then we have custom name sequence. This is what I typically do. I do a custom name sequence, and I do a little modification on it. Uh, then we have custom name, which just gives it a custom name, but it doesn't give it a number. Uh, I don't like that either because it's going to use Windows basically to create multiple numbers for it. Next we have date file name, which I don't want. It's not a very friendly format. And next we have file name sequence, and then we also have file name. Um, now I can edit any one of these by selecting like a, a preset. So I'm going to select this custom name sequence because it's the closest to what I want, and then I'm going to go under edit. And what it does is basically shows me the different options that I have here. So it starts with the image name. I, I can insert additional uh, options here, and it'll tell me basically what my example is on basically what I'm changing. So right here, if I click uh, you know, the image name, I can also insert something else. So maybe I want to insert the copy name. Um, and it's going to come at the end. So if I want it to be at the beginning, I need to cut that out, and I need to add it at the beginning. Okay, And it's going to show basically how it's going to look. Now I don't want to do that basically. I mean this thing is pretty self-explanatory as far as changing it. Um, so what I want to do, actually I'm going to cancel this out. And what I'm going to do, I'm click edit again. All I want it to be is just the custom text I'm going to type in and then a sequence starting with, and I want it to be a four number sequence. So I can change that sequence number by either clicking here and selecting a different amount of numbers. So if I select a five number sequence, it'll start with zeros and then you know fill up as the numbers go up. Um, I want it to be a four number sequence. Uh, the reason why I do this also is because we actually upload to Pictage, and like if you, if you upload to online sources, um, they typically want you to have like four numbers in the file name because they use that for sorting. So like if it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it can get uh, the computer system will actually not sort it correctly. So you need to do like a four number system. Now I didn't want it to add on the sequence onto the end of it because we see what it's doing is it's putting sequence which we have one and then it's adding another sequence zero 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 one on the end. So I'm going to delete that. What I can do is if I click right here on this sequence, it'll actually give me the option to just change that to modify it right there. So I'm just going to change this to 0001. And now we have a four number sequence uh, starting with the sequence number that I enter in. I'm going to hit done. So that's the typical uh, rename setting that I use. So basically it'll give me the option to enter in my own custom text, enter in a starting number, and then from there it's going to do a four, uh, a four digit number starting with whatever start number I define. I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to rename these 16 photos. And now if I look, if I select one of these photos, and I look down here, I can see this is 006, this should be 007, this should be 008, and so on. That way, when I deliver these images, I don't get anybody complaining about, hey, I, I skipped out on these images. I didn't give them everything that they wanted. 
All right, so I'll let you guys play with all the rename options on your own. You guys can play with it, experiment, and kind of get accustomed to it. Let's move on now to fixing timestamp issues.